back in the EU Gen After Brexit show. For this new episode, I am with Dr. Aurélien Raka to understand the free movement of people post-Brexit. Hello. Hello. Thank you for being here. Um, Dr. Aurélien Raka, uh, what is new uh, concerning the, the free movement of people? Actually, there is no freedom anymore of movement yeah. between the UK and the European Union. So from the 1st of January 2021, um, the, the UK is the third country uh, for the European Union. And uh, uh, the, the freedom of movement that existed before between uh, the, the British citizens and uh, the European Union mm -hmm. uh, does not exist anymore. So now uh, the, the UK is referring to uh, the British law and, and the EU is referring to the EU law. Um, it has many consequences and we shall distinguish um, different categories. Uh, so first, uh, the people residing in the UK before uh, January 2021 mm -hmm. and uh, those people uh, they should keep their rights after uh, 2021 if uh, they are workers, if they uh, got a permanent status there, um, if they have a company, um, if they're members of a fa so uh, someone having uh, um, uh, permanent rights in the UK and they're members of, their, of, the, of its family. So according to the status of the peoples mm -hmm. and until June this year, they can apply to remain in the UK and, and this is called the EU. Um, uh, the EU just give you the proper uh, title, the EU Settlement Scheme. Okay. And this EU Settlement Scheme, that is an official uh, status and uh, there is a website um, of the British government exp mm -hmm. explaining everything, all the conditions. Um, the, 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 the people, the EU citizens can stay in the UK. And then there are those not residing in the UK and, and, and now the British law is uh, creating specific conditions for them. But can you tell us more about these EU citizens? So um, there are approximately 4 million EU citizens in the UK. Yeah. So, which is quite a lot, eh? oh. uh, which is less than the British citizens among the EU. Um, there are less than one million. Yeah. Uh, so, that was a big issue for the EU to make sure that uh, the EU citizens, uh, they can uh, still reside in the UK if they live there. This is what I just said before. And then uh, those traveling, so they're the tourists, for example, mm. for example, um, Actually, this is a paradox because they get even more rights uh, than before because uh, the tourists, they can stay up to six months, the EU tourists, uh, they can stay up, up to six months in, in the UK without visa. So without conditions of visa. And this is the same for the students for short term, so less uh, than six months. Uh, same for those traveling for conferences, for business. So they don't need the visa. Over six months, they need to pass through also the same system uh, uh, um, of visa as a, a third country. And, uh, uh, but there, the principle is that there is no visa, but they need a permit mm. according to, so to the reason why they want to, to go to, to the UK. Um, and actually, the, the, the door is open for the workers, for those who want to create a company. Uh, less for the members of the family and because the family grouping mm. that, that, that was existing before uh, under the EU law, uh, for sure they are decreasing a lot those rights. Yeah, so there are quite strict conditions for the EU citizens moving or settling in the UK. Actually, uh, these are the, the same rights as the, 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 the people coming from a third country, so they need uh, uh, a job offer, they need to have sufficient resources, so mm. to have, uh, and even the income, there's a minimum income that is settled by uh, the, the, uh, the, um, the new service that is called the right to work service, that is also accessible online, uh, minimum of 26 
um, uh, thousand pounds um, a year, so for the job offer and to, to get the, the work permits. And uh, the, the, the last condition that is also new for the EU citizens, this is to have a B1 level in English. Okay. Um, so the, those are the three criteria to uh, get the work permit in the UK um, after, after Brexit. I have a little last question. Um, what are the rights for the UK uh, citizens coming to the EU? So, in the other way, uh, now the, the, the British citizens, they become uh, uh, so people from a third country. So they don't need a visa to, to, to get in, but uh, uh, up to three months. And actually, this is the, the difference in the, uh, in the EU. In the EU, um, there is a list of countries, and the UK is now in, mm. that don't need a visa up to three months if they want to come to, uh, to the EU, so for the tourists and, and other people that come for short term. Uh, after, it belongs to the national law. And this is the difference here now where the UK is, recovery, is recovering the sovereignty and where the, the, uh, the, the EU is more unified, is that for short term, uh, this is EU law governing in the EU. And for long term, it belongs to uh, the, na the, the national law. The national and this law. is why uh, the other videos, they're presenting uh, the conditions for asylum seekers, for long term um, travelers and, and uh, migrants. So uh, this, is, this is mostly the difference. But national law is still uh, sovereign um, for long term um, travels. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, do not hesitate to find our other episode on our channel. This show is fading away. Thank you for following us.